What up Kayla's crew and welcome to Kayla's Heat and Greet. So welcome to my vacation vlog. Uh, today's Tuesday, I am leaving right now for vacation. I'm going to New Buffalo, Michigan, which is on the west side of Michigan, like south, very southwest. Um, and it's right by, like right on Lake Michigan. Um, it's right by this harbor. I have a really, really cute, expensive motel or a hotel that I'm staying at um, that I'll you know show, show you more about later. Um, but I'm super excited. I was looking up things to do all day yesterday, um, things to do there, and there's so much. There's so much cool stuff. Um, so I'm going to take you guys along with me. And yeah, I just finished packing um, the rest of my stuff that I couldn't pack last night, like pills and, you know, phone charger, all the stuff I like, you know. Um, so I finished that. I made, I packed a couple of meals because this is my first trip um, while I'm on my health journey. So I don't want to be eating out the whole time. So I'm hoping my food lasts until I get there. It's a three hour drive and um, then I can throw it in the fridge there. Um, or I might eat some of it on the way because I have not had breakfast. It is almost two o'clock in the afternoon, but that's normal for me. Um, I do have one of these Lara bars. Um, it's the lemon bar, it's so good. And it just has six ingredients and there's no added sugar. There's of course sugar from the, um, I think it has dates in it. Something like that. And of course, like there's a little bit of sugar in lemon, but that's something I can, you know, have a little bit of a for, for energy on the road or something. Oh, packed my nice big water bottle and everything else is in the trunk. <laughs> I pack heavy, I think for me, for, I'm only going to be there three days. I put my entire backpack, it's a huge backpack, is just stuffed full. And then I also have another bag, just like a grocery bag. <laughs> then I have my CPAP machine. Oh yeah, it's my first time traveling and I'm like, oh, I got to bring my CPAP with me. Like I can't not have that. So, you know, I had to pack that all up. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get on the road, guys. Um, I'll probably show you some clips of me driving and then hopefully soon I will see you in New Buffalo. I'm gonna show you around a little bit in just my room and then thinking about maybe tonight I'm just gonna explore the town a little bit and get my bearings so I know what I'm gonna do tomorrow.
yeah, really, really nice. Um, I love the fact that they have a fireplace. I love that they have like, a, it's like not really a balcony because you can't sit out there. I, just can't, I don't know if I showed you, but there's just bars at the bottom. It's very thin, um, but you can at least open it up and hear the noises of people eating down below, you know, at the little restaurant, outdoor restaurant, um, people chatting. You can see the, the lake in the distance. You can see, I guess, is this still the lake here? Or is this like a little pond? I don't know, but it's really cute. Uh, also love the tub. I don't know if I'm going to use it because what if I can't get out, <laughs> but it looks really big, the tub. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited for breakfast in bed tomorrow. Um, I did fill up my little order form. You have to put it on the door before 8 p.m. the night before if you do want breakfast. So um, I'll probably be eating breakfast with you guys tomorrow morning and trying out a couple of different things on their menu that looked actually super healthy. They have some gluten free options. They have organic stuff. Um, they have fruits, they have uh, quiche, they, you know, there's just, I'll show you. Um, I got a bunch of stuff. You, you're able to get for free, this is all complimentary. Um, per person, you're allowed to get two entrees and two drinks. Um, and the lady at the front desk was like, oh, is it just you? And I'm like, yeah, it's just me. She's like, say that there's two guests in the room and you can get four things, like four entrees and four drinks and you can just try everything. Um, and it's not everything, but I'm here for two days, so I technically could try everything on the menu. So yeah, I'm cheating and I'm going to order a bunch of stuff and kind of sample it for you guys for tomorrow. But yeah, tonight, um, I have eaten some tuna and crackers in the car on the way here. So I'm good with lunch. I might go either drive through real quick and see, um, just get my bearings of the city or town and see where I would need to park to start walking around or if I can do the walk from here. Um, so yeah, I might just drive around real quick, get my bearings and figure out what I want to do tonight. And then tomorrow is going to be a busy day. I have so many ideas. So I'll see you guys then. Yo, so I ended up walking the strip. It's very, very small. It's not, I, don't know, I wouldn't even call it a strip. It's just like one block, maybe two blocks of one street. And that's like their downtown area. So I just walked it up and then down. And um, a lot of stuff is closed because it's like 7 p.m. So I do want to walk this again tomorrow during the day. And like there's a cool a couple of cool shops i want to check out there's like an antique shop it looks like um a t-shirt factory and the hidden gem i don't know it just looks like some cool stuff there's a couple like little ice cream spots and there's one no two restaurants um i might try to eat at one of those places in a little bit um because i don't know what other options i have other than eating at the hotel but that requires a reservation i did not do that so um see you guys at dinner guys so I had to share this with you because it was amazing I'm sitting here right now by the way facing the fireplace the fire is on and roaring and I got not family guy American dad on the TV it's just on TV right now I'm like perfect that's what I fall asleep to <laughs> but I got in the tub I did a bath tonight and you know I had been sweating all day you guys you guys could probably tell by like, the video footage I was very sweaty from walking around all day and just being out in the hot sun but yeah, so I got in the tub. I was able to get out, but it was so relaxing, guys. I'm probably going to do it again tomorrow night. Um, I just like that. I mean, I did like clean my, I washed my hair and I like to clean my body too. But first I literally just like laid there. The water was so warm. I, I miss, I haven't, I don't remember the last time I took a bath, you guys. So I don't know if it's weird to do that at a hotel. Everything looked, you know, sparkling clean. So I'm not too worried about it. So anyway, uh, I'm going to bed and... Tomorrow is going to be a busy day, so 
I'm gonna get a ton of rest. I have my CPAP machine set up and yeah, I'm just gonna fall asleep to some uh, cartoons and I'll see you guys in the morning for breakfast. Good morning, Kalish crew. I just woke up about half an hour ago and breakfast has been delivered. They delivered to this in this very cute, like picnic basket-y thing. And it's actually super heavy because it has like, here, let me just open it up and show you guys. This side we have the tea that I ordered. Here's like the hot water, I believe. We have all oh, the different teas. Okay, so, yep, I got, I ordered the organic breakfast. I really love that they have organic tea. There's a bunch of like fake sugars and sugars in there, but <clears throat> I won't need that. A few things of silverware. I actually brought plastic silverware just in case, but nope, they give you a uh, metal silverware. They gave me another mug because I think there's two of me. <laughs> and, oh. These are so cute. I ordered an orange juice and a grapefruit juice. Aren't these so cute? Oh, this is my crustless quiche. Oh, it's tiny. Okay, that's why they give you two each. Oh, wait. No, this is a gluten-free blueberry muffin. Ooh, it actually smells amazing. Okay, this is the overnight oats that I got with a bunch of fruit. Oh, there's yogurt as well yogurt fruit. Here is the crustless quiche that I got. Oh my god, it's adorable. Okay, there that is. Sorry, it dripped a little bit on the table. <laughs> a little bit of juice. Oh, I see, I see, I see. This is the organic granola with yogurt and fruit. These are the overnight oats. Overnight oats still has fruit. Okay, so those are the things I'm trying. Not gonna eat all of this today, obviously, but... We'll save leftovers. I'm going to take a sip of this grapefruit juice. I'm not gonna have too much of the juices. I just wanted to try them. Um, I just don't know if they're made from concentrate or if there's added sugar to them or anything. Um, but I did want to give them a try because I love grapefruit juice. And obviously orange juice just goes with breakfast. Ooh. I love grapefruit juice. This is not too sweet. This is not as strong as like a lot of grapefruit juices out there. Like as strong, like a, the bitterness, you know? Still really good though. Let's try these overnight oats. So it looks like it has a little bit of milk in there. There's the oatmeal and there's obviously some really good fruit. There's blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, and blueberries. All my favorites. All the berries. Oh, ooh. Let's do it. This one looks to have a blueberry and a strawberry in it. I almost blew on it. It's probably not hot. No. <laughs> mmm. I can tell it is not sweetened at all, <laughs> which I'm glad they put the fruit in. Mm. Really good. Very fresh, fresh fruit. I'm excited to try their granola. So it's a very similar dish. Let's get this. Uh, let's give this a try as well. I'm gonna mix it up really quick. Okay. So the lady at the front desk when I um, checked in yesterday she said that they make their own granola in-house like fresh i'm like i don't even know how you would do that but okay <laughs> so this one has it looks like a blueberry maybe a strawberry on there mm. Mm -hmm. that's like ooh, there's like some almonds in there Fantastic. I am really surprised. You know when you get like a complimentary continental breakfast, it's like cheap stuff. There's like hard bagels and little things of like cereal, like sugar cereal. And this is good stuff. All right, now for the main dish, this little mini crustless quiche, which I'm very excited about. I did order meat instead of vegetarian. So let's see what kind of meat they put in here. It looks like maybe sausage. Ooh. Yeah. 
It's delicious. Holy shit. Mmm. Ooh. Insanely flavorful. Wow, this is good. I wonder what kind of meat they use. I wonder if it's like pork sausage. It's definitely sausage. Mmm. I'm sorry, this is so, this is, I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> the other two, very similar. Um, I like the granola better than the oats. Yeah, let's try the tea. I think it might have cooled down enough by now. Uh, it's a cute little bag it comes in. So this is a mighty leaf, whole leaf tea. And it's organic. That's good stuff. Ah. Mm. So refreshing. And just like when I wake up, I love having tea in the morning. So it just like warms your body. Mm. Orange juice time. Well, I guess I could just drink it out of here. <laughs> Great orange juice too. There's no pulp in these, which I like personally. I'm not a huge pulp fan. If there's a little, it's okay. But a lot of pulp is just like, distracting to me. <laughs> mm. All right, so I'm gonna finish up breakfast. I think I'm gonna eat the quiche. And if I'm still hungry, maybe have a little bit more of the granola and yogurt. Yeah, and I'll finish my tea and then we'll get on with our day. It is such a beautiful day outside today, you guys. It's, I looked at the weather. It's supposed to be a high of 74. It's probably like 70 degrees now. Um, gorgeous day. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just taking a quick walk checking out towards the beach, um, but I think I'm gonna have to drive it because there's a huge uphill ramp. And so I'm gonna go back to my car, which is a little ways away, and then drive over to the beach, find some parking. And yeah, um, there's a lighthouse there. There's obviously like a beach with like, you know, you can set up like towels or chairs or whatever, um, and just like lay by the water. You guys can hear me because it's kind of windy and the waves are very loud but i found a nice little rock to sit on here um, i did grab a beach towel from the front desk they give out beach towels for going to the beach um but yeah i feel like just sitting on the rock for now maybe i'll lay down in a little bit i forgot to bring my swimsuit but i'm kind of okay with that because honestly this whole experience has reminded me <laughs> that i do not like beaches <laughs> um i love the water the water is beautiful I've never been to Lake Michigan, so this is actually amazing. It's vast. It's gorgeous. I do not like the sand. Like, walking in sand is literally like walking in quicksand. Um, I am wearing sneakers, so maybe that's the problem. I should take off my shoes, but I just don't want to get my feet dirty. <laughs> um, also, I forgot my sandals in my car, which is just right way back there. Um, but I think I'm just going to enjoy the water. That's what I really like about the water. Like. You know, swimming is okay and everything, but I just like being by it, hearing the waves. So I'm just gonna relax, maybe lay down on my beach towel, spend a couple hours, maybe an hour here, and then uh, figure out what I wanna do next. I found a few things near, um, closer to the waterline that I want to keep and as souvenirs. So let me show you. So the first one is just like a smooth stone that's been worn down by the water. Love that. This 
one I feel like it's just like some charcoal because it's leaving a film back on my fingers but it's like super shiny and like yeah I just think it's some, like some charred wood the last thing is a really tiny cute little seashell so yeah these are gonna be my souvenirs all right guys I hope you can hear me it's kind of loud out um, the road is right there but anyway I am at a brewery called the beer church brewery so you guys have probably just seen the outside this is an old church I don't know what kind um, but it's literally its own brewery now and it's pretty huge. The inside isn't that big, but the outside there's two levels. There's like a deck above me. There's this whole level. There's two bars in here. I think there's one on the inside. <laughs> um, so I just ordered my beer and my appetizer. So kind of funny here, they have what they call communion bread because uh, it's a church, old church. <laughs> so I got the communion bread with burrata cheese. I've never tried burrata, so this is where I'm gonna do it. Um, the beer I got, read it for ya. It's called the Ziggy Star Thistle, which is an amber ale. It says Vienna plus caramel Munich malts create the canvas for the uniquely Michigan star thistle honey to paint its gold upon. Um, I typically like amber ale, so I got a 16 ounce of that. So I will see you in a few when I get my appetizer and beer. So I have my amber ale here, Ziggy Zigger, whatever the fuck it's called. Let's try this first. Oh. That's my style. Not typically a beer person, but when I do, yeah. And here is the burrata with the communion bread, which is just bread. It looks like maybe garlic bread. Here it is, guys. It looks delicious. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to dig in. guys so I'm this is my hotel right there I'm taking another walk because oh my gosh so you know I don't know if you guys even knew if I told you this but I wanted to go on a boat ride today and there was one that was like 16 minutes away um, so I was planning on doing that today and 
I stopped by the hotel for something. Um, oh, I had to drop off my leftovers from lunch. And when I got there, looked up the website and uh, they only do one boat ride every day at 2 p.m. It was, when I realized this, it was 2.49 p.m. So I'm like, God damn it. They do do a sunset tour, like, I think around like from 8 to 9 p.m., but I have reservations at the hotel restaurant, which is like a fancy restaurant. Um, I have reservations tonight, so I couldn't do that. My re reservations are at 9. So maybe no boat ride, or I could do it tomorrow before I go home. We'll see, but for now, I wanted to do something else today, and I haven't really kind of chance to go shopping on that main strip so um it's a little bit later now it's like five o'clock i think i uh, relaxed a little bit in the hotel watched some guy fieri's uh shopping kitchen something i don't know and uh edited my some of my videos so time to hit the town now there's something so cool about train tracks i love just like standing on them <laughs> maybe it's the possible danger so here is the main downtown area like i said it's really just one street um, yeah, so I'm gonna go exploring while the businesses are still open, barely. <laughs> Show you anything that comes up that's cool, interesting. I don't know how long this video is getting yet, but I might be scarce here. I was going to only show you things that were cool because the video might be getting too long, but I have fallen in love with almost everything in this store. Look at this huge giraffe. I want him. He's 600 some dollars. <laughs> um, and then here we have these other animals. Another big giraffe that was sold. But this one's not bad. What is it? $125 for this huge thing. And then these baby ones over here. This is my favorite thing. My favorite animal is an elephant, and these are beautiful. Some of them, like the big ones, only $48? That's insane. And we got some baby ones over here. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. So I am back in the room, obviously, but I ended up getting the big elephant statue. I don't have that to show you because I actually left it in the trunk of my car. As I was coming back upstairs, I was like, uh, that's one less thing I have to carry down tomorrow. <laughs> so I put that in the trunk, but I, I got, kept this with me because I didn't want it sitting in the hot car because he just made it. But I bought something from, what was it called? The t-shirt factory? Yep, t-shirt factory. <laughs> and it's adorable. He, he just makes custom shirts there for you. And it took like 30 seconds for him to make. It's this beautiful purple color that I picked out. And this is the style I picked. I wanted something that said new Buffalo. And this one's cool. It had like a tie dye pattern and it's all like sea turtle or something. So I also got a 4X because I was like, how, what's the biggest size you guys have? And he's like, 4X. I'm like, perfect, that's what I wear. So I got it and it looks huge. And I'm like, oh yeah, I lost a little bit of weight and maybe I'm not a 4X now. I mean, this shirt's a 4X and it is, I'm swimming in it, which is fine, I like that. But yeah, so maybe this is gonna be huge, but it just looks bigger than like my normal 4Xs. I don't know, but I'm fine with that. So I'm definitely wearing that tomorrow. <laughs> And yeah, oh, I have now worked off, I'm sure, all that food I ate at lunch because I am sore and tired, hot, and I think I'm gonna relax here until 9 p.m., go downstairs, eat my din din at, I think the fancy restaurant down there is called the Terrace Room, and oh boy, is gonna be good. I hope I can film there. I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but if I can, I will see you then.
So I'm here in the fancy restaurant. I hope you guys can hear me. It's very loud in there. Um, if not, I will cut all this and just show you me eating. <laughs> but um, started off today with, of course, they give you some bread. It's like an Italian style restaurant. So they give you some uh, bread and they also gave me this, uh, looks like oil and Parmesan to dip it. So let me show you that. So yeah, I'm gonna try that, but I also got a glass of, let me tell you, <laughs> Wolford Estate Rosé. I love rosé. It's my second favorite um, other than Riesling. I did not see a Riesling on their menu, so I'm sure they have one. I just didn't see it. Ooh, not sweet at all, but I love it. Alright, let's dip some bread. Cheers. Real good. I'm not gonna overeat on the bread because I wanna get an appetizer that looks really good. And of course I'm gonna get a main meal. So I'm gonna have a lot of leftovers, but there's no point in eating like all four pieces of bread. But that is bomb. Okay, so my appetizer is calm. I don't know what you call it. It's some Italian name that I couldn't pronounce. But basically it's a risotto croquette. Croquette risotto with uh, shiitake mushrooms, something else, and it's on marinara sauce, pesto sauce, and some like parmesan. So, yeah, deep fried by the way. I hope you guys all saw that because that was sexy. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my first bite. I'm gonna eat a little bit of both sauces. Mm. So I don't see the shiitake mushroom at all. Maybe it's like mixed, oh, you know what? It's probably like pureed and mixed into the risotto. Cheese inside, amazing. Perfectly deep fried. Oh. Absolutely phenomenal, and I'm glad I only came with like three of them. I thought it was gonna be like a huge thing. Because I don't think I've eaten deep fried food since my birthday, which was about a month ago. Not quite. But before that, you know, a couple months. I don't really eat deep fried food, but. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna finish up my appetizer and then once my main entree comes, I will show you guys what that is. It's actually, I, I had a plan for what I wanted to get on the menu, because I had, of course looked at the menu beforehand. <laughs> and of course she's like, oh, here's our special of the week. So I got that. And you'll understand why if you know me and my channel, if you've been here for a while, you'll be like, oh, of course she got that. So cheers guys, and we'll see you in a few. I'm back, and today is a risotto kind of day, apparently, because, like I said, I got the special of the day. I think it's technically the fish of the day. They also had a pasta of the day, um, which I didn't do. I was gonna initially get a pasta, but, I mean, this is close enough. So, the fish of the day is seared scallops with risotto. It, um, I think included in the risotto, there's some corn. I can't remember what else she said, but whatever it was. Oh yeah, it looks like the scallops have tomatoes on them, like roasted tomatoes. So I'm gonna show you guys up close and then I'm going to dig in. What kind of clothes should I pick? Considering I have I have to, you know what, I'm gonna start with the risotto because there's only three pieces of scallops. I gotta savor that stuff, so. Of course it's cheesy again. I'm pretty sure risotto always has cheese in it, right? Um, corn, I see some chives. I will let you know if there are any other flavors that pop through this. Um, there was a lot that went into this dish, but she was rattling it off, and I'm like, yeah, that one. <laughs> so, that's a little darker. Okay, cool. Here we go. Mm. 
There is just so many flavors in that. I couldn't even begin to tell you what all is in there, but. Oh, there's some balsamic on that. I wonder if that's the flavor of the scallops. Look at the scallops. It looks perfectly seared, perfectly cooked. Oh my god. So the tomatoes come on the scallops? That like acidity, like kind of like sharpness, and like there's definitely like some sort of vinaigrette or vinegar in there. It really pairs well with the scallops for some reason. Like I would never think of doing that. I don't even know what to say. I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of this. This is amazing. Okay, one last bite of this risotto with the tomato in there. Good luck, Walt. How does this work? So, I was supposed to check out today at 11 a.m. Guess what time I woke up? 11 a.m. <laughs> Actually, 11.01 a.m. And I had set my alarm for 9.15 because I was gonna have breakfast delivered at 9.30. So my breakfast had been just sitting out there for, you know, an hour and a half. <laughs> um, so yeah, I woke up at 11.01, rushed like a mad woman, trying to get all my stuff packed and make sure I didn't forget anything. And I got out of there by 11.20, pretty decent. I have like no water, didn't even have time to pee. Like I have to pee so bad. So anyway, last night while I was up till the wee hours of the morning for some reason, I was looking up the boat rides for today because I'm like, oh, I could take a boat ride at two o'clock um, because you know, I don't have to go home right away just because I have to check out. Look those up and they were sold out completely for today um, as of last night at like 10 p.m. So that in my mind, I'm just like, okay, it just wasn't meant to be for whatever reason. So the other thing I really wanted to do instead, um, not instead, but like just something if I had time, was hit a botanical gardens on the way back home because there were some kind of like on my drive home, not like super, super near. Actually, there was one that was super near to where I was staying, but it didn't look the greatest. So I am actually here right now outside of Friendship Botanical Gardens in Michigan City, Indiana, which was very, very close to New Buffalo. It was about, I don't know, like 10 minutes away. I'm a little nervous because this is like, it looks like just like a walking trail. So I'm a little nervous about that because like there might be like crazy hills and like, you know, obstacles and stuff, but it might be pretty, it might be beautiful. So I'm gonna give it a chance. The tickets today were only $5. Every Thursday it's like discounted. So I'm like, gotta do it. So I bought the tickets last night. So I'm here and I think I'm gonna close off this vlog by showing you guys, you know, just my walk around this botanical gardens, anything I find beautiful. And um, if I don't see you after that, have a great week, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my longer vacation vlog. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed myself so much so that I slept. <laughs> so I was so exhausted yesterday just all I walked like over four miles um which is a lot for me I know it doesn't sound like a lot that is a lot for me so yeah and well, that was just yesterday the day before I walked like two and a half or something miles so yeah I was exhausted slept till 11 a.m <laughs> but I had an amazing time and I love sharing it with you guys so um make sure you guys subscribe to my channel uh hit the button down below the bell and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it all that stuff really helps me out in my channel um but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the relaxing music to some beautiful plant growth and flowers here in Indiana. Mm -hmm.